Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create knockout text images for stunning Divi headers. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so this tutorial is slightly different. We are going to start off with Photoshop. So the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new document. So I'm going to come over here to the top, click on file, new. And the dimensions that we need for this document are 700 for the width and 300 for the height. Now, once you've entered these uh, details, click on create and this will give you a brand new document. OK, so now that we have this, the next stage now is to add a solid color to this transparent area here. And to do that, you want to come over here to the foreground color. Click on that. And the color we need is 121212. That's just a very dark gray. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. OK, so what I need to do next is to apply a solid color on this transparent background. And to do that, I'm going to hit Option Backspace. If you're on a PC, it's Alt Backspace. All right, so now that we have this, the next stage now is to add our text. So I'm going to click here on the Text tool, and then I'm going to start typing. So my text here is just going to be... Uh, Divi, right? So you can see here we can't see our text. That's because our foreground color is similar to our background color here. So all you need to do is to just highlight all this text, come over here to the top and make this text white. Okay, so now we can see it and also make sure that the size of the text is 260 uh, pixels. All right, so all I have to do now is to drag this into position. So just make sure that it's centered. So the next stage now is to come over here to the layers. You need to right click and then click on blending options. Right, next we wanna come over here to advanced blending. Okay, on the knockout, we wanna make sure that we choose shallow. And then the next stage is to reduce the fill opacity all the way down to zero. So watch what happens as I do this. Now, on our text area here, we can see that our text here, which says Divi, now has a transparent, a transparent background. And that's exactly what we need. So we're done with this. Let's go ahead now and save. Okay, so finally, we just need to save this image. So, and to do that, I'm going to hit Shift, Alt, Command, S. And this opens up this dialog box, which has PNG 24. So this ideally is the file format that we need, because if you use JPEG, and let me just select this for example, if you use JPEG, you notice that the transparency now will not show. So you want to make sure you choose PNG 24. And once you've done that, you go ahead and save and then save this to a location that you're going to remember. Now, I already have this saved, so I'm not going to go ahead and save. OK, so I'm going to cancel that. The other way of also saving this file once, once you've designed it is to come over here to the top, click on File, and then click on um, Save. And then once you have this dialog box, you click this drop down, and then you choose PNG, just like that. Okay, so that's the other way to do it. All right, so now that we're done with Photoshop, let's move on to Divi and continue with our design. So I'm just going to close this. I won't bother saving this. OK, so now that we're here in uh, Divi, the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So we're going to come over here to Pages and click on Add New. OK, so for my title page, I'm just going to call this Knockout. In fact, let's call this Knockout Text. OK, I'm going to click on Use Divi Builder. And then over here, we're going to build this from scratch. So I'm going to click here. Right, so for this, we're only going to need a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then here, we need to add that image that we created in Photoshop. So I'm just going to search for my image module here and select it. Right, next, I'm going to click here on my image area to upload my image. And I have this image uh, somewhere on my computer, so let's go ahead and find it. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to Documents, Elegant Themes, and here is my image. Great, next, you click on Upload an Image, and now you can see our image has been uploaded. Great. So now the next stage is to show an image behind this image that we've just um, added onto our page. So to achieve that, you want to come over here to background and then click this third tab. So this is where we need to upload our image. Now, this image that I'm going to upload can be any image uh, that you want to show in the background here. So I'm going to click this plus button and I have an image here of uh, this beautiful sunset. I'm going to click upload an image and now you can see our image has been added to the back. But we're not done yet because the next stage now is to add a parallax effect. So I'm going to click here on yes 
And uh, the parallax effect here is going to be uh, true or CSS. It doesn't really matter, whichever you go, you, you go with. So I'm going to select CSS. Now we need to do some final adjustments to this. So I'm going to come over here to design alignment. So we want to make sure that this is centered. And then the next stage now is to make sure the size of this image uh, module is similar to the size we created um, when we created this image, which has Divi in it. So the width of that is 700 pixels. So let's go ahead and add 700 pixels. And now you can see the size is exact. Okay, so that's looking great. Now it's time to go to the row settings and make some changes there. So I'm going to save this. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to access my row settings, design, spacing. So what we need to do here is to add a padding of zero to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to add it here. Now, since we're adding this to the top and the bottom, uh, I'll just activate this chain so that my value is applied both to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and save. Now, the next stage is to give our section a background color. So I'm going to come over here, click on background, and then I'm going to click this plus button. Now, the color I'm going to add here is the same color as uh, the one that we use in Photoshop, which is 121212. So the reason why we're doing this is because we want this to really match and uh, make everything really look nice. Okay, so now that I've added my color, I'm going to go ahead and save. And now it's time to add some additional text. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button to add a two column, two columns. So I'm going to select that. So we're going to add a text module here. So I'm going to search for it. Select my text module. And then over here, I'm just going to add my text. And by the way, you can add whatever text that you need to add in this area here. Now it's time to customize our text. So I'm going to come over here to design. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change my font. So I'm going to come over here to text. Choose my font. And the font I'm going to use here is called Poppins. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So you can see here it's just been updated. Now the next thing is to change my heading color here. So I'm going to click on this brush tool and this is going to take me over here to my heading settings. And then over here, I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this design, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I have my um, heading color, I'm going to go ahead and save. Now you can you can add this you know to the right column if you if you if you want to so it doesn't really matter where you add this text uh, module. Okay, so uh, what we need to do next is just to um, save our page and then exit the Visual Builder so we can do the final preview. So I'm gonna click here on Exit Visual Builder, and you can see here as I'm scrolling, our knockout effect is actually working. So if you want to use any shapes. Uh, to achieve the same design, it's actually quite straightforward. All you have to do is to go into Photoshop and make sure you cut that area out that you want to, that you want your background image to be transparent on. So you do all the work in Photoshop and then you bring all your designs into Divi and that should work uh, pretty much the same. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.